Have you ever wondered why so many people around the world are interested in Japan? In today's video, we're going to shed some light on that topic. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another um, Konnichiwa. Is this how you hold chopsticks episode? Uh, we're the hosts. My name is MJ. My name is Adam. And we invite you to enjoy yourself in this video, become our third friend in this full natural English conversation, uh, American, I guess, North American English conversation, <laughs> where you can learn some new words, new phrases, and get the feeling of English, because that is something you cannot get from a textbook. Mm. In today's video, we ask the question, why Japan? Japan is a place where a lot of people want to travel to from many years ago, but I feel like in the past, maybe like five, ten years, it has really become a, a highlighted spot in Asia, a country in Asia that many people in Western countries want to come and visit. So just recently, Adam, you know, moved to Canada and he's been meeting new people. And a lot of people have learned about his time in Japan and have many, many questions. So, Adam, what are some experiences that you've had like talking with people on the oh. street they learned that oh you live in japan yeah what's their expression <laughs> what's their questions honestly it's been pretty interesting because i never realized how different japan was of course compared to canada but in everyone's mm. minds and yeah people generally ask the questions like is japan mm -hmm. really technologically advanced and Mm, you know, mm. that was surprising for me because I thought the same thing when I came to Japan. Another thing somebody asked me that surprised me was how do Japanese people or how are they so nice and so friendly and how is the country so great at what it does? And mm. this person said he was trying to learn how he could kind of take the way of Japan and bring yeah. it to Canada. And I was, I was intrigued by that because I first asked him, have you lived in Japan? Have you been to Japan? And he said, no, he only was there um, for a little bit while he was working for a company. But he mm -hmm. noticed a lot of things that were different about, about Canada. And he wanted to bring some of those things um, to Canada, but he didn't know how. He didn't know why it exists that way. He didn't know, mm -hmm. you know how the Japanese people were able to do s that kind of thing. And one thing he asked me about was about the people and how mm. how they are able to be the way they are. And mm, yeah, yeah. I thought about it for a little bit and then I responded, it's the way they're taught in schools. And he kind of understood, but he didn't understand. I think he didn't understand what I meant by the way they're taught in school. So he asked me, what is different about schools in Japan compared to Canada? Mm. And what yeah, is yeah. different about the Japanese kids versus the Canadian kids? And which mm. is better? And a lot of people ask me, which is better? Wow. Which is better? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the only thing I could respond is both have good points and both have bad points. And definitely, yeah. if possible, I'd like to bring the good points together and have the best of both worlds. Wow, wow. That went really deep, too. Because yeah. I think most of the time, it's a very kind of simple like interest in the cultural aspects, the right. kind of pop culture of yeah. Japan, if it's going to be talking about the fashion, right, right. the like anime, manga, or even just the cuisine, the food. Mm. And, you know, with more and more people learning about Japan, I think like, you know, when we were growing up and becoming interested in Japan, the window that we could see through that we understood about Japan was mm. really, really small. Yes. But nowadays, like, again, the reason why I feel like it has become more of like a place that everyone wants to travel to is there's so much more information about it, but it's still like a mystery. True. It still seems like so far away, so different from right, right. Western or North American culture where it's like, okay, yeah, you know, anime is super popular in, in the US now in Western countries. Mm. There's plenty of like... YouTubers in Japan who are from Western countries who yeah. are vlogging about like what it's like in Japan, yeah. the surprising things about Japan and stuff. There is so many types of like uh, English teachers or English teaching guides on SNS or YouTube and stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more information that people can get. 
of course, recently, but you know, thanks to the internet. Yeah, I was gonna say. But that. is yeah. it? So, so I feel like their questions can be more specific for people living outside of Japan compared mm-hmm. to when we were, you know, getting into like watching dramas and anime and stuff. Right, it's like right. we kind of knew a little bit about it, but it was. But still... that's where questions were usually just like, "Oh, how's Japan?" Like, right. yeah, <laughs> yeah, very, very general. Yeah, from from the way I I talk and talk with them and their their curious curiosity about Japan, it seems like. They still feel it's mm. the things that they see or hear about are too good to be true in a way. Like, like yeah. how is the technology? Is it really technologically advanced as I think it is? Is, is yes, one of the yes. things that they ask. And I think that maybe people think it's very futuristic. And I just have to reply that like in the cities... For the the one thing that I could say is more advanced is the way that the the trains work and the buses are all in, interconnected and how that right, runs right. like like clock super work. efficiently so mm-hmm. efficiently and it's so hard to explain unless you actually experience it mm-hmm. right and I think Japan is one of those places that you can't really you could explain it as much as in much in as much detail. As possible, you can videotape yeah. it and show it on the internet. But unless you're there, like it's hard to understand. <laughs> if that yeah, makes yeah, any yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. Like, why is it yeah, so totally. clean? People just don't throw garbage on the ground, but that's not it. That's just not like that's not the end of the story. It's because right, you know, from right. a child, they're told to clean up after themselves in school, and then you. You have right, to yeah, really you clean up the school. School, yeah. right? So you have respect for the school, and then you have respect for your neighborhood, and then you have respect for your house, and then you have res- like it's mm-hmm. it's like a or it's law. just like it's just the thing to do, right? Yeah, <laughs> and like well, like of course I'm throwing my garbage in the trash because that's where the garbage goes. Goes right, and the majority of people do that. Yeah. So, and that you know, kind of connecting to of everyone kind of should be doing the same thing. You don't right, want right. to be different. So if everyone's throwing the garbage away in the trash can, then that's where you put the garbage. garbage right. And that's one great thing where, where <laughs> yeah. it's again. And again, this goes like really deep into the culture of Japan, which a lot of people who do not speak Japanese uh, cannot yeah. connect with yeah. Japanese people. Right. Well, then be still curious and have a lot of questions right, about right. why Japan is the way it is. And I think right. like, I think that's what keeps it as a, a, a curious like mystery, place. Yeah, mysterious, a kind mysterious of... place. Yeah. 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 Because you can come here many times. Mm-hmm. I've heard of people living in Japan, like Western people, Americans, yeah. Canadians, whatever have you living in Japan with very little knowledge of the language. They tend to find pockets of other Westerners I living see. in Japan. Yeah. And so the people around them are all speaking English. Right, right. And they don't really like go out. So it's like you can live in Japan, learn about it. But once you start learning the language, like uh, that's a real big unlock into just being able to see or understand mm-hmm. who you don't have to not, not agree with, but understand uh why things are done the way the they're way they done are. yeah and exactly. why they're different so like that's one always interesting point but a big challenging point mm-hmm. of experiencing a culture right like to the max right and i think it's one of the the hardest things to explain as well like yeah 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 why, the why is is something that it's so deep and when it comes to Japan, I think it's yeah. really deep. Like maybe right. if you're talking about America or Canada, the why is easier to explain, not just because we can speak English, but mm. because like a lot of the things stem from the individuality side. Mm. Like mm. people right, are right, right. for themselves. Where in Japan, it's like, it's it's there. <laughs> it's deep. Oh, wait. So maybe that's another big reason why people are are interested to oh, Japan. Yeah, that that part of it, and you kind of made a point of that that first person that asked you, yeah, why is it so different? And it's like that's 
that might be the key interest mm. in people wanting to come to Japan, want to learn more about Japan, more, want yeah. to learn the language, yeah. is because that that base, I guess, social structure of in the US, North America, it's like your individual be yourself, but in Japan, it's the opposite. Mm. So that is one key point. I believe why people are like i want to know more about japan I want to know more. what's I want this to go there mysterious someday. place yeah. yeah yeah every single All person we... i want to yeah. go I, I i hope to go someday and i always respond don't wait too long don't wait too long and yes yeah so that's something i i keep like every single conversation i have it always ends with i want to go i want to visit japan or i've been there i want to go again and i always respond don't wait too long just don't wait just, too long. Just go. Just don't wait too long. But right now, it seems like it's a difficult thing to do oh, because of, of course. the world that yeah. we're in right now. Yeah, There's a lot true. of uh, a lot of hurdles that people mm. have to do to get into the country. That's true. So it's it's not an easy task right now. Yes, yes. to do right now. Yeah. But everyone, you know, once everything settles down a little more, be sure that there will be a lot of Westerners coming to Japan to oh, experience yeah. the great curiosities. Of the culture, the people, uh, every aspect of every this aspect. country. Oh, yeah, for sure. Guaranteed. Let us know in the comments down below, everyone, what is something that you feel is you would like to highlight as a great thing in Japan that you would like to talk to or explain to Western people? Let us know. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and hit that like button because it helps us out a lot. Oh, yeah. But that's it. We'll see you on, on the, the next step. step.